It really feels like a gift because it was unexpected. It's not anything that I could have anticipated or arranged. Tonight, an unexpected friendship between a former prosecutor and the woman he fought to keep behind bars. In a little more than a week, Centoya Brown will walk out of prison after serving 15 years. Now, you may remember former Governor Bill Haslam granted her executive clemency in January. Big story, nationwide story. Mm -hmm. News Force Cameron Taylor is at the live desk for us. Cameron, a Lipscomb University program helped form this special bond. Yeah, that's right, Tom and Tracy. They didn't know they had already impacted each other's lives when they met in the classroom a decade ago. Now, this wasn't your average classroom. It was at the prison. Now, the former prosecutor in Centoya Brown's case is one of her biggest supporters. More than a decade ago, Preston Ship only knew the name Centoya Brown on paper. He defended the state's position of keeping her locked up. Well, her case was just another case that I was assigned. Um, you know, she had been convicted of killing a man in Nashville. Ship worked as a prosecutor handling appeals for the Tennessee Attorney General's office in 2008. About a year later, Brown enrolled in his class at the Tennessee Prison for Women. The program through Lipscomb University offers higher education to inmates right alongside college students. Her name was on my roster, but I did not make the connection that the Centoya Brown in my class was the Centoya Brown whose appeal I had argued. It wasn't until the Court of Criminal Appeals issued its opinion, denying Brown her freedom. Yeah. Ship and Brown didn't know how this would change their newly formed friendship. Had I known then what I knew now, had I gotten to know her as a person, that I couldn't have argued that she needed to spend the rest of her life in prison. Ship spoke with Brown in the hallway one day to apologize. After that, they started exchanging letters and books to each other. Getting to know her, you really can't help but support her. You know, she's just really, um, she's got all the potential in the world to go impact people and mentor. He spoke up at her parole hearing and wrote a letter to former Governor Haslam supporting her release. Ship says their story shows people how adversaries can become allies. It makes them think twice before they slap a label on somebody. Now, Ship hopes to connect with Brown the day she's released or not too long after that. And remember, Brown will be on supervised parole for 10 years and have to follow several conditions. Those include having a job and going to counseling sessions.